Okay, I'm back everyone. I got the liquid mask ready to go. Just gonna throw it in a quick little uh, foil lo lin lined, lined, lined uh, pallet tray. Probably too much, but let's see how it goes. Let's see if I get one of my cheapo brushes. Let's see here. Oh, an old, uh, oops. Uh, I'll just use this little uh, cheap little army painter brush. I think it's a little starter brush. And we'll start with one of these guys. I'm just going to um, just put little dots here and there, especially on the rust areas. I'm going to paint over this black, uh, the, the white stuff. I just don't like how this turned out. And it wasn't, you know, I was just experimenting with that fluid stuff. And I really didn't like how that worked. I think that's really, really awesome on a tank. But all these smaller details, and I used a big brush on it, it kind of just all came off, except for a few areas. But I'm just going to uh, like, do some areas on the wings. And I'm just going to go in with the uh, my uh, Badger Renegade uh, Velocity, and just uh, do a quick black coat on this. Then we'll uh, show you how this turns out. So this is, I just want to show you basically how this is going to go on. It's nothing uh, too fancy or exciting. But uh, that'll be it for right now. Just little dots here and there. Maybe we'll have a little white go through. But um, I think that should be pretty cool. And we'll be back in a while. Thanks for uh, watching. Okay, I'm back. I got the um, um, masking fluid on. Just some little spots everywhere. Just to you know show a little bit of the metal and the that uh, airbrushed uh, rust paint I put on earlier and it does have the sealed in with the pledge I'm just gonna mix up some cheap uh, or not cheap but some game color uh, I guess got a little cup going I'm adding just that little uh, mixture of the 85% water 15% alcohol mixture to it then we'll throw some water in it I keep a dedicated brush on my desk this is a an old beat-up brush for stirring and mixing I don't really like mixing in the cup but you know it's no big deal if you do or not is this a preference? And I like using medicine cups. I buy tons of them on eBay. And I usually just toss them. I don't clean them or anything. So about like a hundred of them for ten bucks or no, a thousand for ten bucks or something like that. Find a good deal like that. So I basically got the paint in there. Got the water going. And I just dropped it. We'll be back. Okay, I'm back. That was a nice rookie move. Uh, paint all over the floor. Nothing a splash of Windex and uh, an old t-shirt couldn't take care of. We'll start over again. Got the cup, a little bit of water in the bottom. Get some of the uh, game color black going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven drops. Let's stir that up. And that's way too thick. Let's see, keep it going. And uh, let's add a little more water. And we're going to run this at probably around looks like 20% or 20 pounds of pressure on the Renegade Velocity. And see how there is like a little film left over, but it's kind of uh, translucent, but it's not. Obviously, you can, I mean, it's a little slightly translucent, but that'll be nice to throw on nice thin coats one at a time. And we'll go from there. So uh, I'm going to switch over to the uh, spray booth real quick and I'll be back. Thanks. Okay, we're back, and I just got the, uh, the Renegade Velocity going. I love this brush. I have the Chrome, I have the Sotar, but this is when I just keep it at my desk ready to go. I'm not doing any super high detail right now, but uh, this will be enough to get some nice, you know, to be able to control my paint flow where I'm putting it. And make sure we got some paint going. Let's see here. See, we go nice. Nice atomization right going. Excuse that, people. And we're ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go right now. Um, got one of the models. And we'll see how we'll do this. I'm just going to take them off the base so I'm just holding them. You can see. And this light air pressure. Then slowly pull back. You see how we go? Nice light coat. Perfect. It's actually a good little thing for painting out this little black that I did. You see how much control you have over it? I'm get a nice uh, even black coat on there. And like I said, I got about 20 pounds of pressure. 
really thin the paint down, but see it's not spidering on me. It's holding really nice. It's atomizing perfectly. Uh, this is like a nice mix. You couldn't ask for better than this. And let's go on the back of the uh, wing right here. We've got a little spidering going there, but not too bad. We'll uh, just hit it with some air. And you can see um, those little shiny spots. It almost like maybe that's it. Those little shiny spots are the uh, the uh, masking fluid. So it's really easy to see once you let's go under here. You can see the stripes of the masking fluid right there. And it's black. And I was gonna hit some little black in, black in here. This is so hard doing this with a camera in front of your face. And this is like a it used to be a 200 dollars camera. I think it's a $50 camera nowadays. I've had it for three years. <clears throat> but yeah, it gets what done what you need. And a decent picture for everyone. And I just don't want to get over those base coats. This is what you don't plan your stuff and experiment and get screwed around. But with airbrush paint, you got really light coat, so it's not too bad to go back over. You're not going to lose too much detail or anything. So uh, that's it for basically how to get this done. I'm going to go do the other model and the uh, two props, and we'll be back after that. Thanks. Okay, I'm back real quick. You can see, even on the propellers, let me see, you grab down in there. You can see those little areas where the light hits it. Um, that's where the fluid is. It will go in in a few minutes. I'm letting it dry for a while. Uh, not let it cure, but let's let it dry, get a nice little a hold onto it. And you can see even there, it looks like, actually it looks like drops of glue, but that is the uh, masking fluid from Alejo. And I'm going to come in and pick it off, and then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, I am back. I uh, everything's dry. Like I said, I got or I used the um, Vallejo uh, liquid mask. I got that from Lessig, awesome paint job. He's an awesome painter. Uses Vallejo. That's probably why I got into Vallejo, and probably why I got into Badger too. Probably also Chung too. I love. I use all Badger. I probably have eight brushes. <coughs> Mainly, you see, all I use uh, three is the 360 uh, Patriot and the uh, <coughs> Renegade Velocity. But I have all the other ones. I, I will be using it in the future, especially doing some pre-shading, probably bring out the, the chrome or the sotar. Well, I already got in here with this the stiff brush like Les says to use, and got there and just takes the paint right off. See those little spots? All right away, look, I got rust. Black over, over the rust, awesome. Got that little tail wing. Perfect. I might come in and highlight it with a little bit of gray just to show the depth of the uh, of the uh, indention of the uh, rust damage but this is a uh, really easy to control and very detailed you're not I mean I do like the lit weathering fluids for the chipping and uh, those effects because it does it, it's kind of more random than this but this gives a good little uh, it does, for what it is it, it does a really good job so I'm just gonna get over these and let's see let's grab one of these real quick i'll grab one of the, uh, one of the uh, helicopter props or devcopter props see we got a little rust there a little rust popping out there so there's little areas of rust here and there i think it worked pretty good maybe i could have gone in with a little of a more of a lighter color this is light rust. I'm probably gonna go through this anyways with some weathering powders too. Late, you know, towards the end of the uh, project, we have a little couple spots under here. Stuff just comes right off. Nice. I'd reckon. Yeah, use a stiff brush. The regular uh, save. Don't use your sable brushes on this. But that'll be it for right now, and I'll be back later. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm back real quick. I just hit it with the. Uh, did finish the uh, uh, using a stippling brush and another hard brush to get off the. Um, Masking fluid and got those nice little chips, you know, not too many, but it looks kind of cool. I'll probably add a little highlighting to it to make it look a little more back to it. You can even see like where I hit it with the white on that white paint on the other uh, Devcopter. See how that came through? And little parts like that. And uh, after I was done, I protected it with, I uh, just used some cheap Liquitex flat um, varnish through through the Patriot 105. And uh, protected, you can already see the sheen's already down, how those... Uh, especially those blue pants are like just glistening like candy and they're back down to a dark uh, matte blue 
And now I'll be going in and just uh, doing some uh, uh, more detail work, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.